I am so excited. My twin girls are turning one soon, and so we're gonna have a little family celebration party, and I wanted to make some fun party hats. So I'm gonna show you how to take this and turn it into a magical pom-pom party hat. <laughs> Check out how cute these are. I saw someone who made something kind of similar online and I thought they were so cute and she was selling them for $30 a piece. I went on and her website was sold out and, I, and also I was like, I can't pay $30 for each one when I wanna make like 25 of them. So I decided to go to the craft store and get all the supplies I needed. So today I'm gonna to share with you how you can make these too. So whether you're making one or you're making a few of them, it's pretty simple. It doesn't take too much time once you start getting and going on a roll. So what you need is your basic party hats. These usually come in a pack of eight. You can get them at Walmart. Doesn't matter what color these are because you're gonna be covering them anyways. You're gonna need felt. I like to get felt by the yard because it's cheaper. You can also get felt in little squares and stuff at like Joann's or Michael's, but felt by the yard is easier. You don't need a ton of it, especially if you're just making one hat or if you're doing a whole pack, which is usually around eight party hats. You just need a small section. So I actually took a party hat apart for my pattern for my felt. So when I, I'll get to that when I get there, but this is how you can figure out how much fabric you need. For 24 party hats, I got a yard of fabric of felt and that was plenty. I actually have, this is my leftover scraps. But we'll get there. So you need about a yard of felt for 24 hats. If you're doing less, you need less. You're also gonna need yarns and strings. If you want, you can stick to one or two colors. If you want more colorful pom-poms like this, you're gonna need a couple different yarns. And then you're also gonna need scissors and a glue gun. So your supplies are pretty simple. So the first step is I'm gonna show you how to make a pom-pom. <laughs> There's a lot of fun ways that you can make these, but I'm just gonna show you the easiest way. So I like to use my fingers as a guide, especially when I'm making you know bigger pom-poms like this. And the great thing is with having a couple different colors is you can make a lot of different combos and varieties. These pom-poms are super cute too, not only on the party hats, but if you wanna make a garland for your party or things like this, these are super easy and you'll have lots of leftovers of the yarns, so that makes it fun. I like going with the chunky yarns. This isn't your typical yarn, but it's super easy to find. I just got all of these supplies at Joann's. I will link to everything as well and the information below so you can easily find everything you need. But for a pom-pom, depending on what you wanna do or what colors, but I'm just gonna show you a super simple way. So you're gonna get the ends of all the yarns that you want. And let's do pink. And let's add in these sparkle ones are really fun because it just adds a little detail. So I'm going to do these four and you just get all of what you need in one spot. And then I put it right here in my hand and I put place my thumb there so it can kind of hold it for me. And then I'm just going to start wrapping this around. And once I get going, you just kind of go quick and you can see how the colors look. It just looks really fun and cute. So once you get it to the thickness that you're wanting, you go ahead and cut your strings. I like it to be pretty thick, so my pom-poms are really full. The less string you do, the less full your pom-poms gonna be. And so on this, my typical go-to is, if I was just using this one string, I would wrap this kind of thick, chunky yarn, I would wrap it around my hand about 40 times. So if I'm using more strings, I, I do less. So I did about 20 times because these strings aren't as thick as the chunky one. So I wrapped it around 20 times. So usually if I'm using a few, I'll do about half. So once you're done wrapping around your fingers, you are going to pull your fingers out. So it kind of leaves this little loop and you have this kind of roll. And I'm just gonna set that on the counter and then I'm gonna take and make about a foot. 
So you're gonna take your string and set it down and then you're gonna take your loop. So you make sure that your openings are on the sides and you are going to tie and you, this one you wanna make really tight and you're gonna tie it in a knot and just one is fine. And then once you're done, you can trim these or either leave them cause they're all gonna get figured out in a minute. Now's the fun part where you are gonna take your scissors and just go through those loops and cut them. And that's where it makes that cute pom-pom. You just go ahead and cut it. So you just look for all your loops and you cut them. And then it makes this cute pom-pom. But as you can see, like some pieces are a little bit longer. So you can just go ahead around it and trim. Or if you want, you can leave those long pieces and have it have that kind of fun look that you're going for. But there you go, there's a pom-pom. If you're making a bunch of these, I recommend making all your pom-poms at once and then do, going to the next steps because it just makes it a little bit easier and then you can move your supplies and stuff. I did forget to mention however tight, how tight you make your fingers are how big your pom-poms pom -poms gonna be. So these are your big pom-poms, so this is like your four fingers. But if you wanted to make a smaller party hat, like I have these little mini ones that I'm gonna make for my daughters and this one I don't want as huge as a pom pom on it. And so if you wanna make a smaller one, you can just use two fingers and wrap it around your fingers. Or if you want a bigger pom pom, spread your fingers out and wrap it around that way. So the tighter your fingers are, the smaller, the bigger, the bigger pom pom it's gonna be. So after you make all your pom poms and you get all of that taken care of, then you are going to start cutting your felt. This is something you don't have to do. There's a lot of really cute party hats out there these days, like at uh, my favorite par party store, Zurchers, I saw that they had iridescent pink party hats that were super cute. So you could just glue the pom-pom on top of the party hats and call it a day. If you want this cute felt look like I'm going for, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I took one of the party hats apart. It was just stuck together and then I took it apart and used this as my pattern. I took it and laid it out on my felt. For me, I wanted to get a closer pattern, so I just went ahead and pinned the party hat around all the way, and then I went ahead and cut it. And then that's how I got all of these. <laughs> and then after that, I wanted to add a little sparkle to it, so I did some rhinestones. I hand sewed these on, but I would recommend to make it quicker and easier to actually hot glue them. So this is what the little rhinestones, or these aren't rhinestones, these are the little sequins look like. And then I added just a basic bead over it. If I'm being honest, I feel like I'm making it more complicated by doing that, by hand sewing them. But I just like the look of the hand sewn. But you can easily hot glue these on. Now I'm gonna do the fun part where we're gonna put this all together. So I'm gonna pick out whatever pom-pom I want. I think that would be super cute. I mean, any of these would be really fun. Pink. The great thing is any combo that you get, you're gonna do is gonna turn out darling. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. Come on over to my glue gun. I'm gonna focus on this area right here for my glue, cause there's already a seam there. So what I like to do is put a little bit of glue down here and I'm gonna glue my pom-pom so that will be hidden. So I just try and find a long thick piece in it that I can glue down. And just remember this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just for fun. So I will just glue that so I have a base stuck and this is gonna be covered by this. So once you get your pom-pom glued on, it's not gonna be super secure, but that, that's okay, cause we're gonna do that later. But you just want it to be glued down so you have some base. And just know this might not be exact and you can cut and trim around it after. 
but I like to have my seam line up with the seam on the that's already there on the party hat. So I'll go ahead and just kind of do a little rough estimate to make sure that it's gonna fit and it will once it pulls down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Honestly, this is the trickiest part of it all is just getting this first glue part started. <laughs> but after that, it's pretty smooth. So I just go through and start gluing down. And then as you can see, that's all gonna wrap around. So once I get that first part glued, then I just go through. And as you can see, I'm Really not trying to make it perfect, but just making it so it will withstand the party. <laughs> so once I get it all right there, then I do a little bit more work on my seam so it matches up nicely. Get that all pushed down. And then now you'll see that your pom-pom, it's only secured from that one piece. So I will put some glue up here and glue that base down on the top. And then I'm just gonna start picking a few pieces that are close and I'm gonna put some glue on it and be careful not to burn your fingers on this and just start to glue a few pieces down so that it will secure it. And if you want, you can take a big bunch and stick it. And just see what gets stuck. And just make sure it feels pretty stuck up there. And then after, you might have some excess around here. So just grab your scissors and cut that off. And then to make sure that this doesn't lift or that you're not seeing that print that's behind there, I just go ahead and glue around the whole base and stick it all like that and you're done so that's a wrap on this video as i mentioned i will put all the instructions and everything you need to know written below so if you have any questions or anything like that you can check back there and have everything you need but there are so many fun combos that you can do and these are so fun to make especially if you just need like one for a party hat for a first birthday or something like that and as i mentioned before it, i find it's easier to do all the pom-poms at once cut all of these out at once do all the sparkles at once put them all together so here's the finished results on the hat I'm making 24 of them, so I have a few more to make. <laughs> but if you make your own party hats, I would love to see what you come up with. Tag me in them so I can make sure to comment and tell you how awesome they look. But these are super fun to make, and I hope you enjoy.